Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Chelsea, and if you already read the title of the video, then you already know what we're gonna talk about, and that is um, stuff that I wanna make for summer of 2023. So I have my laptop here. That's why I'll keep looking down um, in case, I don't know, you're, you're like wondering why I keep doing that. That's why. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that, well, let me just say that the first two things I'm gonna talk about, there aren't any patterns um, for these two items. So they're more like dream makes, if if that makes sense. So um, probably not stuff that I'm gonna, or projects I'm gonna start on right away because I still feel like I'm learning um, how to like create structures of certain garments. But I will say that I have like, this much confidence that I can replicate the first two things I'm going to talk about. And you know, like this, that's not none, that's not zero. So I feel like if I, after some practice, if I make a couple more, if I make a few more <laughs> garments, then um, I think, I think then at least ugh, one, one of these things I can try to make. So um, the first one I, I want to talk about is so cool. It's by Kai Koto. I hope I pronounced their name right. Um, it's their mountain landscape top. And I mean, it's gorgeous. I It's so cool. I like the mountain um, illustration on there, the color work. I mean, if I were to try to remake this, I might just follow the same colors, the color palette that they use. Um, and I also think that the structure itself it doesn't look um super complicated i mean it's a kind of a basic vest i don't mean that like <laughs> it's so basic no i mean it looks um simple and clean and the entire focus is on the color work itself and um again there's no pattern for this piece but just by looking at it i, I think you have to use the entire joint knitting method um, which you do in the, like you knit flat. So, um, just by looking at this, I feel like you already kind of know what kind of colors to use roughly. It's not going to be exactly the same. Um, and you also know to knit the front and back piece separately and then sew them together. The only thing that's not super obvious from this photo is, um, the type of material that was used. So, I think because I would like to wear this in the summer, um, maybe some sort of cotton would be nice. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it, or maybe even knitting for olives merino or cotton merino would be, would be a good choice for this. But it's so cool and I would love to make this. I mean, I'll try to probably make it um, again, like I said, after a couple of other projects just to practice. Um, and it also, last thing I'll say about this is that it might be good to make it with three millimeter, but you might be able to get away based, like depending on the yarn that you use with four millimeter needles. So, um, yeah, so that's the first project or first thing that I hope to make. This is like a dream make. So that's dream make number one. And then dream make number dose is the warm shoulder top by guest in residence. I think the whole point of this clothing line is that it's all made out of cashmere, which just makes me sound like a bougie bitch. And you know, I am, but, um, this, I like, I, the other thing that I really like about this is that it doesn't look really like a knitted piece. It kind of looks like a woven fabric. So I'm not, if I said that my confidence level for making these first two projects was this, then for this piece, it's definitely like that, you know? Um, because I think what I really like about this uh, uh, one shoulder top is that it look, it's flowy. It doesn't look hand knitted, cause it wasn't, but <laughs> um, if there's a way to replicate this by hand, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to knit something and and make it look like it's woven fabric because this looks woven even, even though I, it's i don't think it is because it's um because it's cashmere but i could be wrong i don't know 
but regardless I do really like this and it'd be really cool to try to replicate this I have no idea how to do that so uh, this would probably be towards the bottom of uh, of my uh, list and you know I put the first two as dream makes because um, there aren't patterns associated with either one of them. But for the rest of the projects I'm gonna talk about, so the next eight, they do. So for the third project, it's kind of a classic, My Favorite Things Knitwear, Camisole number five, which I already talked about in my previous video. So, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I included this piece in this list because if I end up not making any anything else, at least I know that I made one of these projects. So uh, I think that's just like the lazy, the laziness <laughs> inside of me just like coming out. But um, yeah, I, I, th I also think it's a classic. So a lot of people have made it and it's also really nice. It, it's a two by two rib and it's very stretchy. I, um, I've used the Knitting for Olives Merino Wool um, and it doesn't, I mean, I haven't worn it in like 80 degree weather. So I have no idea how that's going to feel during the summer months, but I do know that Knitting for Olive has the cotton merino. So that might be a good alternative for really hot days. And, and this top is also made using 3.5 millimeter ne needles and work top down. Um, yeah, there's really not much to say about this, except that it's kind of kind of a classic. And um, also, I the first piece that I worked using 3.5 millimeter needles, and it's not that bad. Um, and I also think that after blocking it, it'll be, because at the moment, um, I haven't blocked it yet. And so I think the stitches will even out once I do that. Okay, so, I think this is project number four. Uh, this is another My Favorite Things knitwear uh, piece and it's the camisole number eight. Now, okay, I gotta be honest with you. I've never worked with cables. So that's kind of why I wanted to put this piece in here just as, just to like um, incorporate some sort of variety, variety. Otherwise I would be more than happy to make nothing but two by two rib t-shirt. It's made with 2.5 and 3 millimeter circular circular needles. I'm gonna guess that they that the way that's constructed is to work the top half, top back, and then um, once you are done increasing to make the armholes then join there and work the body. Um, but yeah I I don't know if it's a good starter piece to start make like to first learn how to make cables because um because it is made with such small needles but i'm down for the challenge the fifth project is the twist loop top by maja clovedom again i'm so sorry if i mispronounced that uh, the project is also made with 2.5 and 3 millimeter needles i think you can sense a pattern here um, and the suggested yarn is the on leg number 11 I've never heard of that brand um, but it's a fingering weight yarn so um, I'm gonna guess again that you could probably use knitting for olives merino wool yarn or con merino and I just I think it's really pretty it's basically to me it looks kind of like a hybrid between the camisole number eight and camisole number five because it almost looks like you use two by two ribbing on either side of the cables in the center. Slightly different cables granted than the camisole number eight but um, yeah again I kind of like the halter shape top too and so that's definitely something that I like to make. And for the next one I think I lost I think it's number five. I think we're on number five now. Yeah, so project number five. <sighs> Again, I'm so sorry for the mispronunciation. Um, I think it's Spectol, <laughs> um, Spectol Strick, uh, Spectol, Spectacle Strick. 
I don't know, spectacle trick. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. Spec spectacle trick. Their Inga dress. So that's that's what I want to make. That's uh, number five on the list, and it looks kind of like it looks a bit daunting because it's a dress, but otherwise the construction of it looks pretty simple. It's just like a V-neck um, camisole just made long into a dress. And in the notes though, they did mention that it's a slightly A-line shape dress, which is nice. So, and that it's worked top down, uh, which is also a nice feature because then you can just determine the length or like the length that you want by working top down rather than bottom up. And it's also made with three millimeter and four millimeter circular circular needles. Um, so I feel like it's less of a daunting task. I'm guessing that the three millimeter needles are for the ribbing and that the body is all worked in four millimeter, which is doable, which is doable, I think. And the, the suggested yarn is or the suggested material is just cotton or two strands of silk of, of a silk yarn that they listed ah i'm just not gonna even try to i think it's okay i'll try to pronounce it they they suggest two strands of j j per j j per <laughs> i'm not sure i'm so sorry this is just the ignorant american talking right now um Okay, we're just gonna move on to the next project because otherwise I'm gonna get stuck on this friggin' silk brand name. I don't know. Okay, so project number six, also by uh, Spectula Strick, maybe? Um, it's their Nelly skirt and it's made with four millimeter circular needles as well, worked in the garter stitch top down. So if you wanna adjust the length, uh, in this picture, they have it a little past knee length. So if you want a little longer or shorter, you can do that. The suggested material is a half wool, half cotton blend, which is an interesting choice. I feel like I don't normally see that a lot. Most people just, or most of the patterns that I was looking at to make this video were mostly cotton or wool. So uh, it's pretty cool that they, they chose that. So just to like switch things up, but uh, that's the first piece um, of a set that I would like to make. So they also have the Nelly top and it's also worked in garter stitch and worked bottom up, which I, I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. I, I kind of like the idea of being able to adjust the length of your, of your garment by working top down. I feel like working bottom up I've made a vest before um, that way, the Vicky, the Vic, uh, Vicky's vest. Vic, uh, I think there's an actual name for it. I'll link it down below, but that's worked bottom up, which is totally fine. But um, I think once I was exposed to working top down, I just, I fell in love with that method. So uh, regardless, I do want to make this because I think the matching set is, is pretty cool. So uh, again, also worked in four millimeter needles and the shirt itself is made with a 50% cashmere and cotton yarn, but I think you can just get away with the cotton yarn and make the same thing. So, and also can we just take a moment to appreciate the skirt over the jeans? Because that is a look, that is a look right there. That is not a look I can pull off, but I'm a big fan. I'm a, I'm a big fan and then maybe one day when my confidence grows from here to here, maybe, who knows? You'll see me out on the street rocking a knit skirt over jeans. All right, I think we're, we're on number eight. So three more things, three more projects to talk about. Um, so on the list for number eight is Dima Knitwear's uh, Dima's rib top. So again, I put this because I, um, you know, after making my favorite things that wear camisole number five, I got used to the two by two rib and I'm not exactly sure if this is also two by two. It looks, 
the ribbing looks a little thicker, so it might be, uh, the ratio might be a little greater, but uh, it's worked bottom up. Again, not my favorite, but I'll follow the pattern as is, you know, maybe learn something new, learn some new techniques. And uh, it's made with five millimeter circular, circular needles and three strands of Mandarin Petite, which is a cotton yarn um, from Sandus Garn, by the way. So kind of thick material. I'm not sure how that would fare in, again, in like the middle of summer. I'm not sure if that'd be too warm. So if I do end up making this top, I mean, I do want to, it's, it's a pretty, it's a very nice, uh, it looks like a staple piece. It goes with anything. So I'm, I might not make it with three strands though of the cotton yarn, just to make it a little thinner. And I might knit it with smaller needles, but uh, I think, I guess that's why people make the gauge swatches, right? And I guess now that makes sense. Now it's all clicking. Um, okay, anyway, so I guess I'll do that. Knit a square and then figure out, figure out where to go from there. Uh, but it looks really cool. So again, on the list and I, I feel like I could, I could make this, um, this year or next year. No, but definitely this year. So in for number nine on this list is by a designer called Another Knit and it's their Another One Shoulder Top, which I know I already showed guests in residences one shoulder top, but for this one, um, I was going through the reviews because I saw the pattern on Etsy and there's one person who actually extended the um, like off the shoulder part and made a crisscross halter top, which I thought was really cool. So I would actually just do the same. Um, and so instead of making this a one shoulder top, I would do the crisscross um, design. Uh, if that makes sense. I, I did want to include the photo of the reviewer because it's on Etsy, but um, uh, I just, I chose to just show the design as it was intended by the designer, but just know that that's an option, you know, and that in life, just, you know, make things the way you want them, I guess. You know, I guess you don't always have to stick by the by the pattern or by the rules. Uh, I can't get deep, so I'm not gonna try to do that. Okay, so just to, because I was talking about the needles and the materials that are suggested for each design, I'll do the same for this one. So the suggested yarn is a worsted weight or Aran weight yarn held with lace. So they actually use uh, Knitting for Olives Heavy Merino and their soft silk mohair to make the shirt and they also use 4.5 and 5, mill five millimeter needles again I'm not sure just how uh, optimal that would be for a summer top I, that seems like a great top for spring but in the summertime where you're just like I feel like the last thing you want to wear is wool so or a thick wool I mean so I also might just try to make this with three millimeter needles if I if I do end up making this. So, I mean, going through this list, I'm realizing that everything I want to make is on three millimeter needles, and um, I'm slightly delusional, but not that delusional. And I know that's going to take a while. So in reality, I might just end up making one or two more of these pieces. Um, before the summer, but during the summertime, again, I'll still try to continue working on this, but by summertime, so say like by June, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you updated, but, uh, definitely not all 10 of these by summertime. That's for sure. That's for sure. So anyways, that's the, another knit. I'm going to stop myself on that rant. Um, and Lastly, the last uh, project that I put on here is more of a spring, uh, I think, than a summer knit, but it's Petite Knits Poppy Tea. 
and uh, I just love the color that they use in this sample piece, the bright red, and it also just looks like a nice staple. And also made <laughs> with three and 3.5 millimeter needles. I think you can tell what kind of uh, fabric I like to uh, I like to knit and it's made in the top it's made top down in the round again I really really like that way of knitting and uh, the suggested yarn is Sunday by Sun Sadness Garn or Merino by Knitting for Olive held with mohair which um, maybe you can get away without the mohair um, to make the t-shirt but uh, that's that that's the last one all right so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching again i'll link everything down in the description below all the links for each of these patterns and um that's it <laughs> thank you <laughs>